This is Floss TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to Tea Time, where we bring you the biggest stories and interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ewa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshinke. What's that? Why are you so happy to call my name? <laughs> like, the way you said Ife Oluwa Oshinke, like, ah, ah. She was already smiling. It's this love, it's this love, <laughs> this love, it's this love How that I'm feeling. Hey, hey. Hmm. You should sing that song. How are you doing? I'm blessed, you? I'm good. How is your bed doing? Because she's doing well. Mm. Went out for lunch earlier. And, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> if I'm right here. We went out for lunch. Oh, it wasn't. Sorry, it was the side check. Moving on. See, officially we're, we're done. <laughs> I don't even understand. But anyway, it's fine. After two years of living together as man and wife, popular Yoruba oh. actress. Bosse Oladimeji has announced she's leaving her husband because he beats and rapes her after drinking. So hmm. They never got married, I guess. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, they were just living together. They just had kids together and they've been um, cohabitating. But How did you know this? Mm, Co-parenting. I know this because it's in the story. I did my you know, for the research. Oh. So they mm. never got married, like, officially. Mm. So they just had kids together and they've mm. been living together. Basically, that's it. Okay. Hmm. That's deep. <laughs> but you know, um, I don't want to say I'm happy for her that she made this decision to leave her marriage, but if it's not bringing you peace, if it's not bringing you happiness, if it's not bringing you joy, please just walk away. I mean, women will do everything to keep their marriage, but nothing to keep their own life. Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing that she made this decision. If he keeps beating her every day, one day mistakes will happen. I mean, we watch Nollywood movies and we see how these things work, you know. Right. So it's good that she made this decision to leave. Now, I saw people asking that didn't she see signs um, before she got involved with him and started having kids with him. But she was like, oh, it was so sweet, you know, it was financially there for her, being so humble, you know, and they met at the party and they always say, um, the club is in the best place to fall in love. Mm. Yeah, but, oh, yeah. really? But when it happened... But do you agree to that? Hmm? Do you agree? Mm? Do you agree? Mm? I don't agree anyway, because I know people that have it. Yeah, me too. I don't agree. Like, well, it's not really the best place. I agree to an extent. It's mm. really not the best place to fall in love. This Why? Why? I hate you. Because so mm? I'm seeing... I met her in church. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst place to I, see a wife. I'm it. telling you. That's how I feel. Well, that's okay. well, that's how you feel. But mm. at least um, we didn't have an edge here and think about it. Mm. Club isn't the best place to fall in love. So, mm. the, so the bar is where I What's go. What's the a club and a bar? The yeah. thing in a bar is that you get drunk at a bar, at a club, I'll you go wild. I'll be here when you <laughs> <laughs> you I'll be here. here when people break up. Because if you are watching, dear girlfriend, and I don't believe you exist. There's no girlfriend. For me to be celibate because of a woman, you should know it's a serious relationship. Just two days, yeah? It's a relationship that was built on the foundation of Christ. The thing is, you started going to church recently. Mm. And you are, what was the word now? Exhuming. You are, you are too excited about it, mm. and she is part of the excitement. I'm only of exhuming the glory of God in my life. Hallelujah, mm. brother. Amen. Mm. Jesus is king. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the next story, which is about people that are on the hallelujah, hallelujah vibe, and Jesus is king. Kanye West announces Jesus is king to drop October 25. The album is allegedly arriving on the same day. The film of the same name will open in IMAX cinema. So. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Finally, we have this. Mm -hmm. This is amazing, but I just hope they won't move it again because it was supposed to be 27th. It was moved to 29th and of September, mm -hmm. actually. 20, um, 27, 29, mm -hmm. and now um, October 25th. So let's see if um, they'll actually keep to this date. Mm -hmm. That's the whole But I, I but know we're all yeah, anticipating I know I'm looking forward to the film, yeah. though. Yeah. I, I think that one is not going to be moved. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, even if it moves the album. That one should drop. That's the most Definitely. important. I really can't wait for the movie to come out because um, I saw something here. Yeah, I think I sent it to you mm -hmm. about Kanye telling his pastor that he, he almost dropped the rap um, music because it's um, a devil thing. Mm -hmm. I just rap. Okay. That's what Kanye said. What about Kate Franklin? <laughs> that's, that's, Kanye's that's just like if fair film. I think you will talk about it in the movie, mm -hmm. do you get? So it's just like, if you know when you're new to these mm, things, you start you. seeing things, you start There's seeing... There's no proverb I wanted I'm to say. I'm not new to Christ. <laughs> What? I'm new to Christ. You are new to I've church had, going. I've, yeah, I'm new to church going, but I've had a solid relationship with Christ. It's mm. a different thing. 
Hallelujah. I'm a very spiritual person. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. My spirituality is on dread. Mm. Mm. Yeah. In fact, 1,000. <laughs> Even you don't believe me. I know, right? So, right? so we have a guest in the house, and um, you'll find out who this guest is after this break. Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Our guest is a fast rising dancehall act, Christian Onyudo Nkemjika. He drew his earliest inspirations from Ebene Zaobe, Sashino Peters, Bob Mali, and a host of others. He studied mass communication at the Atlantic College KL Malaysia. In 2012, he released the club banger titled Show Me Your Rose. Mm. The song gained massive airplay on radio and in clubs nationwide with singles like Pass As You Go. Olingo, Good Loving, Coco Banana featuring Banky W, Mama, Baby Paulina featuring South Africa Powerhouse Uhuru, and Baby O featuring Davido. Let's make welcome the man you may want to lick, Ketchup. Oh, the man you may want to lick, right. You have a hot dog, right? Yeah. I'm so glad that this ladies are searching. So um, uh, let's start. Are you single, Ketchup? Me? I'm working on it. Working, yeah, working on, on being what? Single. <laughs> being single. Not being single. Oh, not being single. Mm. Okay. Mm. In the okay. middle of it. Shoot your shots. Uh, he's not shooting any shots. <laughs> I know somebody is shooting already. Has <laughs> okay. the shot that. person to know? So if but, we don't it, know you are shooting shots, you, 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 you know. Oh, mm. Wow. Mm, that's how shots happen. And the music hits you, you feel no pain. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's how shots What's happen. What's been happening with you, though? Because some uh, would say you've been away, but then mm. you've been dropping some singles. Right? Yeah, I've been, I've been working on my album, Skillamatic, you know, mm. and, you know, also gets in the balance with being an independent artist for the past, mm. like, three years. Uh, I've been moving around, you know, the Caribbean, uh, East Africa, which is like our Jamaica here in Africa, you know, also featured on Major Lazer's album, mm. some features with a lot of East African artists and people outside Nigeria. So by the time I drop my album, it'll just, you know, spread mm -hmm. easily. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's basically what I've been doing. And, you know, the sound here back home has kind of, you know, past participle, past mm -hmm. participle, mm -hmm. past present people, you know. So I had to expand my Afro dance hall style to, you know, the universe, and I'm so excited to drop this album. Like, yo, mm. in a couple of days, you know, I can't mm. wait. So there's no particular date you should be expecting? Actually, it's actually up for pre-order now, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. It's actually on iTunes for pre-order. People can go and pre-order. You just search Ketchup, is out there. Um, the actual date for release should be the 25th. Okay. 25th. Mm. Same day with, Same day with Kanye. Kanye. That's Are October. you sure you don't want to move I said, we people we get this. We did <laughs> 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 you know how we did, you see? Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, I like the fact that you said by the time you came back, it was past participles. So what's your mm. take on the um, entertainment scene in Nigeria, especially the music scene? Uh, I think everybody's going to be okay. Everybody mm. will yeah, be okay. Yeah, so um, who are your biggest um, artists in Nigeria presently that you my know? My biggest yeah. artists? Mm. Honestly, my own, you see, <laughs> During the time I've been away, I've come to evolve, you know, personally as an artist and mm. as a person. There's no king. There's nobody that mm. is big. Mm. It's just everybody just get time. Mm. Yeah, everybody just has a time. One person of shine between this time to that time. Be like fun, you know, fun blues like this. Mm. Mm. So, so who's the turn. fan facing now? Well, anybody believes they face. They face me. <laughs> Time, you know. yeah, that's I okay. just feel like the sound, you know, everybody has their own sound regardless of uh, what people listen to. There are mm. people that listen to actual slow music in Nigeria that mm. don't listen to what is past yeah, participle. Mm. You know, so, yeah. What's your definition of past I mean, how do you know? <laughs> hey, we need to understand okay. past participle. Okay. Let me explain it to you. Mm. You know, <laughs> past participle is the songs that you hear and it's like, Past participle, past participle. Ah, uh, come no day, eh, come no day. Anybody will get the funny me. Ah, eh, but if I go, you know, it's like uh, say go. one thing you said, say it again. No, that's what I'm saying now. Zangu, probably like Jero, 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 Yes! In fact. How many times they say Jero in that song? 32 times. Mm. So it's, so it's, 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 it's past participle. Mm -mm. It's different. It's no, like Jero. It's present, Jero. present, Jero. present. Jero. Jero. Jero is hitting me. Like, you know when water keeps Jero. pouring yeah, on Jero. one spot? So it's Jero. present, for present, present. present. <laughs> it's present. So past participle is... Pour water for cup, pour water for cup, pour water for it, pour water for it. Come back for it. I just feel like don't. I mean, you know. So wait, let me give you a typical example of that type of song. Zanku, leg work, 
Zang, uh -huh. Dark. You said it, said okay. it. You said it, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, Jero, Ketchup said Jero. it. It's like drops of water. <laughs> Jero. Jero. At the end of the day, there's going to be a hole there. If, if one drop of water keeps pouring on one spot, mm. one spot, one okay. spot. Okay, I'm not sure. That. I'm not sure if this question is still, but where did ketchup come from? Uh, I'm a half cast. I'm mm. Yoribu. And my mom, Yoribu, and my dad is Yoribu. Oh. <laughs> so, how did that make up ketchup? Um, ketchup, ketchup. Ah, this story is long. Okay, I used to be, I used to be a dancer mm -hmm. at first in Federal Government College, Janiki, mm -hmm. where you know I used to dance, you know, to go and win, you know, dance competitions and stuff. And in uni, I was a hype man for a club. I wasn't getting paid, but I just liked doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, at some point, people were like, "Ah, you so gay, hype man name now. You don't even gay name. All these girls just the flock. You every time you carry microphone." And I was like, "Okay." Someone said, let's call you ketchup and chips. I said, I like that one, you know? Mm. And I was just playing with it, you know? And when music started, everybody already knew me as ketchup. And I was mm. like, let's just use the ketchup on the chips. And mentally, I kind of, you know, channeled it to be ketchup as an artist on the chips, you know, on the mm. money. Oh. On the money, yeah. great, great. Um, okay, let's talk about the support you get in, from other artists in the music mm. industry. Is this strong or people are just there letting everybody do their own thing? Uh, I think at one point, Way back in like say 2000 and show me or was the time it was there was this there was this harmony there was this unity, mm -hmm. but now everybody is just about self the way I see it. Mm -hmm. But everybody still kind of sees what everybody is doing and they support when they can. Everybody get bills to pay. Everybody get issues. Mm -hmm. Everything is hard every way. You know, cannot carry one man's problem on your head. Like me, when I see my people posting and I see it, I will repost. I don't have to call you. I don't post you. You know, if you repost what I post, fine. You know. When we see, well, I fight all my jama, I never hear, you know. I think it's more, you know, physical now than social media. Mm. I've, I've evolved mm. through the social media life of saying, oh, I have to post this person's song. I don't owe anybody anything. Nobody owes me anything. Mm. So it's more physical for me. Okay, so I wanted to hack. I was working with Davido. You guys are this BBO son. How was ah, it? Big up JFM. JFM was the producer that produced the track. He mm. actually made everything happen. Uh, it was, I think it was easy. I think I was one of the people that had it good, you know. Mm. I dropped the song off on a Monday. He recorded it on a Tuesday. Boom, boom, boom. I hit up Stan's visuals. We shot the video like a week later. Mm. You know, he, he, it was really easy because mm. we already had that, you know, relationship like a long time before Emma, Dami, Dura and all that. We used to use the same studio with yeah. Kamal and all those times, mm. you know. So there was this kind of connection way back. All right, so on your new... A quick break. All right. But when we come back, Straight. we'll carry on this conversation. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, and we definitely still have ketchup in the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So before the break, I was going to ask you, um, on this new album, this yeah. your new body of work, what yeah. the people you featured and what should we be expecting? Uh, with, this, with this Afro Dancehall album, I kind of want to draw a line so people can understand that the ketchup style is a style it's not just like a, a, a jamaican or a dance hall kind of thing mm. you know it's the style is afro dance hall mm. it's like i was raised as an african afro beats and you f f mix that with dance hall you put those two things together it, it has this blend it brings it's not like i'm speaking part of like yeah, the body, body. Mm. it's like speaking pigeon english but bouncing it in an afro oh, dance hall way mm. Now, pigeon is Jadis. People show me from, show me where is it till now. People still think I'm not Nigerian. Like, oh, where does he come from? I'm Jamaican boy. Nah, it's just Afro dancehall style. So, this album is basically, I just put on two artists, Las mm -hmm. Busy and Flavor. You know, oh, the single with Flavor is out, it's titled Sweet. Mm -hmm. You know, those are the only two artists on the album. I just want to. You know, let people feel that vibe. Like you said, the vibe people don't yeah, miss out. To me, they feel them. Yeah. And I was able to, you know, put it. Every record has a story. It's not like it's beyond that time when you just come and say, oh, baby, I love you. Every song, you're saying the same thing, just using different words. If you listen to the album from the beginning to the end, you'll understand things that I've been through as a person. You know, every song is relatable. Every skit on the album is relatable. My mom even has a skit on the album. Mm -hmm. You know, mm, she doesn't know. She hasn't even heard it till now. Okay. <laughs> you know, I, I was able to tell different relatable stories because I realized that in this in this whole music thing right those people that get to follow the crowd don't go beyond the crowd mm. but if you manifest your own lane 
you definitely will find yourself in a very new area that nobody has ever been. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm trying to do with the music. I have songs with a lot of artists, Stone Boy, okay. Tamaya, all these people, but you know, that will probably come in Skillamatic too. So okay. I was okay. going, sorry, I was going to ask about um, Flavor and you winding waste. And they mentioned Flavor. So who Who's the best in this waste mm -hmm. wine game? <laughs> You're drinking tea. After drinking, you spill. The video so who wine? You, right? you no, 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 no. We're gonna settle that in the video. No, eh? no. I, I need you to tell we'll me who wines better. No, let's wait, let's we'll settle wait it in the, the video. video. Mm. The video will be out soon. Mm -hmm. Me featuring Flavor Sweet. I'm shooting mm -hmm. the video real soon, so it will settle. All right. So Skillamatic uh, stands for what? Skiller. Skiller is my nickname. Now Skiller is my nickname, like I said, and if you add matic to it, like say mathematics, so skillamatic is the way that Skilla sees the world. Mm. Yeah, it's the way that I as an artist see the world. Okay, um, you've been talking about um, your lyrics, you mm. tell stories, mm. and now you're talking about how you see the world. Mm. So I'm interested in your creative process. Ah. How does it work? Ah, basically for me is just being in the studio, I know what I want to talk about. You know, the producers there sometimes most of the time I get songwriters in the studio and we're there, Las Bizimos especially, he's a great songwriter. Shady, he's a great songwriter too. Mm -hmm. You know, we're in the studio and like, now this guy's song shady. that I want to do. Yeah, same Shady, he's a great songwriter. Mm -hmm. See, now this guy's song, now what I'm talking about, please. How do we do it? Sometimes they tell me, write the story on a piece of paper and then we start switching it, turning it mm -hmm. into a song. You know, most of the time, it's just, it just comes naturally. You know, as long as you know what story you want to talk mm. about. You know, the other day we were making a song and I was like, we're talking about how people just go to the clubs and people don't want to have fun anymore. They just go there to show their friends that, mm. ah, me too, I go that mm. club. Or people don't want to dance. Even the clubs don't even have dance floors anymore. And, you know, I was, I was in the studio and I told Las Bees, I said, what would you do if not only you did club and the DJ just did jam or your favorite song? What would you do if not only you did club and the DJ just did jam or your favorite song? And he said, I will dance, 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 dance. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 okay, so what's your ideal studio session? Because speaking of um, your creative Ideal process, studio session know. would be... Me, producer, songwriter, finish. Girls, mm. drinks, yeah. alcohol. Girls, not necessary, but if that day you go add ginger to the vibe. What about you know? drinks? Uh, yeah, drinks. Everybody drinks, you know, just drinks, vibes, AC, to make it chilling. If AC no day heats, it's okay. No matter the way that we're making music, you know. <laughs> okay, so, do yeah. you have any um, artists you have plans of working with very soon? Uh, you see, at this point, before I would be able to say, ah, I want to do something with Chris Brown, I want to do something with. Mm. At this point in my career, it's vibration. If I feel you, let's do it. If you know, if I don't feel you, even mm -hmm. if you're the biggest artist, it's not gonna work. Mm. It's just I'm I'm a vibration person. I feel I see this person and we're in the same spot, and I'm like, ah, my good nice to you know. Regardless of your style of music, it's just mm. energy. Once mm. your energy is right and we connect, that's it. So I, I don't, I don't look right forward. Uh, hmm. I think you and Bonner Boy will make a match. Did he tell you he's feeling Bonner Boy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, I think. I think. <laughs> How are you feeling? He knows. Yeah, Bernie is good. Bernie is great. You know, we actually sat down and talked about it one time, but it hasn't happened. Okay. You know, he's just been. You see, the thing about being an about artist is getting to see each other, mm. being in the same place at the yeah. same time. Everybody's busy doing one thing or the other, so okay. that's basically it. So our time is up, but you have to sing us out. But Aye. What would you do? My thank yeah. thank yeah. yous, well, and my thank you as always. Uh, to my uh, wait, 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 let me sign out. It's enough for me not to sing. Oh, Thank you so much for watching. And like I always say, you can join the conversation by using the hashtag Tea Time on social media or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always go to Michael and Cos, if you're Lua and Ewa Rita. Of course. Call this so much? <laughs> I guess. Catch up. Thank you for being yes, here. My name is Elsie Godwin. Thank you for watching. And catch up. It's time for you to sing us out. 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Ise wa o ni jazazan agun wa o ni lolofe royal dance dance everybody dance eh royal dance dance everybody dance